Hello and welcome to Scrintle. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Scrintle's infinite canvas space called a board. Boards are blank canvases for specific projects or use cases, and you can make as many boards as you need. So whether you're new to Scrintle or you need a refresher, by the end of this video, you will know how to create a board, populate a board with your ideas, and navigate through those ideas on your board. And I will guide you through all of it so that you have a place to visualize your ideas and plans. There are many easy ways to create a board in Scrintle. First, from your desk, Scrintle's home base, you can click and drag your cursor across a group of blocks. After you do, right-click the selection and a menu will appear with an option to create board. Clicking that will create a new board with your selection. Now you can title that board and use it as a place to store those documents. Another way to create a board is to go to the left side menu and choose a specific selection of documents to include in your board. Simply click select docs, choose the ones that you need, click options, and then create board with docs. Another option is to simply create a blank board. To do this, go to the left side menu and find all of your boards, then click add new board. A blank and infinite canvas can be a bit overwhelming, but don't worry because Scrintle has you covered. In the menu at the bottom of the board, you can choose from a variety of comprehensive templates for whatever type of project you're working on, from taking reading notes to brainstorming to planning your next work project. Once your board is populated with a variety of blocks and documents, which are topics that are covered in another video, you will need to navigate through it all. You can do this by holding the space bar while you you click and drag your mouse by scrolling up and down or by holding control or command as you scroll to zoom in or out. And that is how you create a board, populate a board, and navigate through your many great ideas within a board. Here's a final helpful tip. If you find any of your boards are getting a bit overpopulated, you can always click and drag your cursor across a number of documents or blocks in that board and create a new board from them. This can help if your project needs to be broken down into smaller parts, and you can even link a board within another board. Now that you know how to create boards, try using this feature in your own Scrintle account to plan your next project. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video was useful. Have fun exploring boards, and I'll see you in another video.